Uh, I'm really not in line with bioidentical steroids. I love that word. You know, we use bioidentical, bioavailable, all this kind of fancy kind of stuff, and it really means nothing. You're on acid, acid, and, and, and base. You're on an acid estrogen, an acid testosterone with a base in there to neutralize both of them. In reality, those are, those are all three in, I'll say the estrogen and testosterone are probably more brother and sister than progesterone. Progesterone is the base side of those two that keeps those two in check and neutralizes them. And again, by taking them, it's well established. I don't care if they're bioidentical or they're yesterday's uh, soup, uh, you're going to lose your adrenals. And you just don't want to do that. It's just not worth it. Uh, I don't care what they call them. You don't take hormones, steroids, neurotransmitters, digestive enzymes, uh, anything like that. That's melatonin, that's synthroid, that's, that's armor, uh, that's uh, cortisol, that's anything. Because if we take those things, we then are going to see a decline and a decay of the function of those respective glands. Well, then when you try to come off of them, that's why in steroid use you have to titrate, which means come off slowly, or you can get your butt kicked, and you explode, your skin starts splitting, and this just shows you how detrimental these things are. Uh, unfortunately, birth control pills are estrogen, and uh, that can actually do the same thing. So when a woman stops taking birth control pills, she has real difficult time producing estrogen. Um, it's hard to mess with the glands of the body. Uh, when your gland isn't functioning properly, go after those cells, because it's just cells not doing their job. Cells, when you're going after a cell, you're going after a cell with two things, chemistry and magnetics, or energy. Remember we were talking about in quantum physics, we've proved that energy has intelligence. That's God. So we're going after those with the materials that we know is the closest that hasn't been aberrated or mutated or hybrid, except for the foods. But we're going to go after what we can. That's why I love the herbs, you know, before we start mutating them. But we, we want to grab those. They, they are pure. They're strong. They know right where they are. They have a job to do. They were here for a job. And that's what I love, the beauty of botanicals. To make pharmaceuticals is an insult. So uh, be careful about taking them. And remember, if you take them, I don't care what form they're in, your body quits making them. And they gave you, it's kind of like mixing hydrochloric acid in your acid digestive enzymes with your base digestive enzymes. Same kind of thing here. I don't like that. Uh, the fact, if you got weak adrenals, you got to fix them. And uh, fixing them can be all kinds of ways. You can use herbs, you can use granulars, but you want to do a systemic, a whole systemic uh, work on yourself. Because if you're having trouble with adrenals, you're going to also have trouble with kidneys and the lymph system to some degree. This is a good question brought up by some ladies here, and that's menopause, hormones, and steroids. Well, a lot of people call steroids hormones, like uh, estrogen and testosterone and progesterone. And, of course, Lee's work came out because a lot of medical doctors were giving uh, uh, estrogen replacement programs and stuff, high estrogen. Uh, uh, and of course, birth control pills were estrogen and actually aborting women. And so that's what's going on here. Well, you know, in taking estrogen for a woman, it, remember we talked about this before, that when you take hormones and steroids and neurotransmitters from your meats, and not knowing it, you're just eating meat and getting all the neurotransmitters, and you're getting, uh, and then using digestive enzymes and the like, uh, can really affect the endocrine glands in a negative way. And we see this over and over again, even with digestive enzymes. People come in here and can't digest after being on them for a while. You cannot, and this, I don't know why it, it's that way so much with the endocrine glands, but the endocrine glands just will not, will stop producing what they need to produce if you, if you take it. And, and it's well known about steroids. It is well established fact. 
So when medical doctors start loading you up on steroids, it's a well-established fact in medical history that they'll start slamming your adrenal glands. You know, I've told you many veterinarians uh, are much smarter, and they won't give animal steroids unless it's the last uh, effort. And even my veterinarian wouldn't give my old dog, 15-year-old uh, golden retriever, a steroid shot because of the adrenal uh, uh, fatigue or the adrenal shutdown from it. And it just can't go that route. That's the beauty of glandulars. Medical doctors need to discover the world of glandulars. It seems to fit good in their consciousness. So really what they need to do is start using these instead of hormones and steroids and start thinking, how do I get these tissues or cells healthy? A healthy cell will produce. Uh, it's just like anyone else. You show me a sickly human, he's not going to produce well at work. Show me a healthy, vibrant person, he's going to overproduce. So this is the sort of thing with cells. Um, so you want to look at that. Bioidentical hormones or steroids, I don't care what word you give them. I don't care if they're bioidentical to what. Who cares? You can't take them. You can't take And then, of course, then Lee came along and realized that, uh, started looking at the chemistry of it because he realized these estrogen replacement programs weren't helping his women at all. And they, all this crap about bones and stuff, if you don't take estrogen, well, estrogen breaks down bones, sorry. Uh, so you see all these problems here with that. And so Lee came out, well, if so much women are, are estrogen dominant then we need to give progesterone and so then the progesterone creams came very popular and we've used them here when you have uh, someone with a large fibroid just to try to help to break that fibroid up quicker you know sometimes we'll use that sort of thing um, medical doctors have used um, uh, still bestrol, which is what regulates a woman's breast shape and size. So if you're a woman and you have small breasts, it's your adrenal glands. If you're a woman and have two larger breasts, that's your adrenal glands. That's still bestrol. Uh, I've got a barrel chest, still bestrol. You know, this is, the, these are steroids in the adrenal glands. And the adrenal glands do so many things for the person, including the shapes and sizes of things. It's amazing. Uh, so getting the adrenal glands healthy will definitely bring the body back to some normalcy. I talked about this before. The female reproductive formula, we're increasing women's breast size and firming their breasts. And it's just because their hormones are steroids. We're coming into balance, you know. And that's the thing. You know, we're talking about the growth hormones out of the pituitary and people that are too short or too tall. You know, all these things are about what's going on with the human race and the endocrine glands. Uh, hot flashes, thyroid. A lot of women with thyroid problems will have a horrible amount of hot flashes and things. Pituitary controls, of course, ovulation. And the pituitary is the big boy, and when he's down, then a lot of menopausal problems. So we always work on the endocrine glands when a woman is have, going through tough menopauses. You get too much cramping, parathyroid again. Uh, so you really want to work on your endocrine glands and make them healthy, not by taking steroids and hormones or neurotransmitters. People don't realize the overconsumption of dead animal meat has ingested in the human lots of epinephrine and norepinephrine. Well, these are the adrenalines. Well, because of that, the adrenal glands have shut down because they've sensed too much epinephrine in the body. So, uh, you see that a lot when you take someone that's been a meat eater and you take them off of meat and you start to put them on raw fruits and vegetables. They'll come in really tired and fatigued and they'll say, I gotta have my meat for energy. Well, guess what? Your body doesn't burn protein for energy. It burns sugar for energy. It burns carbon and oxygen like your car does. So the protein isn't burned for energy, and you don't want to burn it for energy. That was Atkins philosophy. Starve the body for a sugar, which is essential, and the body will turn to its fat reserves and convert fat or glycogen back into glucose. Well, you had to eat high protein to get above the sugar and the fat to do that. The problem with it, extreme acidosis, excessive fat breakdown, ketosis, and same thing basically, and pretty soon a lot of people died, had open heart, had a lot of problems with the acidosis. Yeah, let's just see. Hey, Doc, I have a girlfriend on bioidentical therapy for four years. She is starting to run into problems, and this is the problem. And thinking of taking testosterone to correct the imbalances that the other steroids created? 
See how ridiculous that is? You're taking steroids, they're unbalancing your body because they're shutting down your glands, and then you want to take another one to try to balance what those did. You see what I'm saying? You'll never, excuse me, this, this, uh, this, this type of thinking never wins. This type of thinking only gets these poor ladies in deeper trouble and deeper trouble and deeper trouble. That's another thing I feel sorry for. All these ladies and all the medical doctors hurting their, their glands and like, it's like, these guys are out of control, they're nuts and they're crazy. Some of them are really good. They're coming, coming around. But how long does it take? How many people have to suffer? How, yeah, you get there. What has it been? She is starting to run into problems. Da 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 da. I tell her she's crazy, messing with her hormones. You are right. Uh, have you or can you do a a show uh, on B H I uh, B I H therapy? The benefits, dangers, and examples of women that you have helped with hormone issues. Oh my God, please. I, I wouldn't even begin to, 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 to help you there because we're talking, oh, thanks. You had to go away and have that do that? Okay, thanks. Tens of thousands of women I've helped. Tens of thousands. This is a no-brainer. This is a no-brainer, guys. You take a hormone or steroid, it's a no-brainer you're going to lose your gland. That's fact. If a medical doctor doesn't know that now, Take your degree, rip it up, and go dig ditches or something. Fact. I'm done. It's a fact that you're going to lose your glands when you take your hormones and steroids. Why lose the adrenals any more than they are already? See, the illusion is that you're going to take these steroids. They're going to make you healthier, and they make your glands weaker. And when they make your glands weaker, you're going to take more. That's the problem. You see, it's a catch-22 that some women can't hardly get out of because their glands are so not producing their steroids and hormones. So when we, when we look at our blood works and they've used blood as a, as a reading for steroids and hormones, very inaccurate, and can be up one day and down the next, I don't put all my eggs in a basket. It, when you study steroids and hormones and the like, and neurotransmitters, you know by symptomology where you're down. If you try to play this game of, of watching this go up and down, that's problematic and it'll drive you nuts. Um, I, that's why I say if you simplify this and just make healthy those tissues that produce all your tissues, and you don't have to worry about a thing, because there's very little one can do about these things other than detoxifying the inflammation or acids out of these tissues, making these tissues respond better by enhancing the cell function within these tissues. That's all you can do. Uh, how do I balance my hormones? You do this by making your tissues healthy. If you try man's way, you screw yourself up. You want to make you want to make your nature's way, and nature's way is by eating foods that are balanced in their chemistry, foods that are high, are dominant on the base side, which is naturally coming in your fruits, berries, melons, and vegetables. Naturally occurring, perfect pH balances. Yeah, there's some you're probably radically off, but you know for the most part. Uh, you want to, to, to change your diet to a raw food diet. You want to get your kidneys filled. You use the herbs now to go anywhere you want to go. They'll drive your car wherever you want to go. You want to go to the pancreas, got a formula for it, or herbs for it, however you look at that. Uh, you got kidneys, you got, you got herbs for that. You got, you got uh, 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 nervous system, you got herbs. Isn't that beautiful? You can't say that in supplements. You can't say that in pharmaceutical worlds. Cool stuff.